So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the harsh truth that we're facing right here in Knoxville, Tennessee in our current housing market. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for this. My name is Todd Jewell and me and my team we receive calls and emails every day for people just like you who are looking to make that move right here to Knoxville, Tennessee. And we love to hear from you. We don't care if you're looking to make that move immediately, if you're not gonna be moving for a year. We wanna go ahead and get the process started so that your move can be as easy and stress-free as possible. Okay, let's get started. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this big problem that we face here in Knoxville, and that is our housing shortage. I know that a lot of parts of the country are facing a housing shortage, but right here in Knoxville, it is a real shortage. My biggest challenge that I have when working with clients is when they realize that, wow, finding the right home once we decide to locate to Knoxville is not that easy. It honestly is a, one of my biggest jobs is being their hands and feet when they're going back home here in Knoxville. That's what I'm doing out here today is six to look at a piece of property right here beside me for a future home for one of my clients. One of the things that we see here is that our builders are building. You know, this is a Saddlebrook community. They're a really good builder here in Knoxville. They're building homes just as fast as they can, but the reality of it is they're really struggling to keep up with demand here in Knoxville. So we're going to look at some numbers. We're going to see where Knoxville was a year ago, where we are today, how the rising rate environment has affected us and is going to affect you, what we're doing to combat this problem. But let's first look at some statistics. I pull these numbers straight out of the MLS and what they're doing is comparing through the end of October 23 to the prior 12 month period in October of 22. I think some of these results may be a little surprising, especially if you're one of these folks who's watching the so-called experts on YouTube online talking about this huge price drop that's coming, the market crash and all those kind of crazy talk that's out there. Here in Knoxville, our active listing count has dropped from 9,355 all the way down to 8,370, marking a 10% drop in active listing listings year over year. When you listen to those experts, one of the things you always want to do is talk to a local real estate professional or someone in the industry who can give you real data, real numbers, not high, and not general theory of what they think is going to happen, but someone who has real numbers. Now, here's some positive news in that. Some of the positive news in that is it's better than it was six months ago. We saw it a little higher and then we saw a huge drop. We literally got below one month in our absorption rate a few months ago. And so that has improved, but it is still 10% below where it was a year ago. Okay, so now let's look at year over year new listings. So that last number was active listing on the market. This is the number of new listings that came on the market over that 12 month period. So 12 months a year ago, we saw eight 8,713 new listings hit the market in that 12 month period. This past 12 month period, we saw a 14% reduction in new listings. We saw that drop all the way down to 7,431 in new listings. Many people say, why? Well, it's obvious to me and those of us who work here in the Knoxville area, and that's this. First, a lot of people are moving here. Secondly, a lot of people bought homes on lower rates and they're not gonna sell them unless they have to, they're being relocated or whatever. So we're not seeing these homes hit the market. They're locked in on good, solid, long-term low rates. So what we're seeing is, and you may have noticed something, we saw active listings only down 10%. We saw new listings down 14%. Well, here's what that should tell us. It tells us that yes, we are seeing a few more homes on the market, even though we're seeing less new homes come to the market. Some of that is that the market is having to make somewhat of an adjustment for rates. And we're going to talk about that number here in just a minute. And actually, we're going to talk about how the rise in interest rates are actually good for you as a buyer. Okay, next, let's talk about prices. What's happened to prices over this 12 month period? Okay, so back a year ago, the average sale price of a home here in Knoxville, Knox County was $408,467. Single family residents, primary residents, not condos, single family homes. That this year, that number has risen as of the end of October to $441,195. That's an increase of about eight percent. Okay. So prices have continued to rise. It doesn't put us at the top of a real estate market when you consider the, the cost of homes across the country and in California and Texas and some of the areas that people are moving from that I talk to on a daily basis, but it is another significant increase in our prices. Now here's where rates come in. 
okay? So the good thing is, is because rates have risen and homes are less affordable than they've been in a very long time for folks in our Knoxville area, what you're seeing is you're seeing that appreciation rate slow down. So what does that mean for the buyer? What does that mean for you if you're considering moving here? Here's what it means. It means that the homes have not gone up as much since rates went up as they would have had they stayed at all-time lows. It also means that while rates are up, you can take advantage of the prices slow down a little bit. Even though we still have an inventory shortage, average days on market here in Knoxville is about 20 days. And that's usually because our sellers are still understanding that they can get an 8% price increase year over year, but because of the rate increase, they can't get 20%. Sometimes the seller is still trying to get 20. You look online, you see a lot of price decreases. I hear a lot of people say, oh, prices are really coming down. We see lots of decreases. No, if you look at the closed sales price, they're still going up. It's just at the beginning price is coming down. We're still selling our homes here in Knoxville according to the MLS between 96 and 97 percent of the ask price and that's even with the market going through an adjustment period right now where sellers are having to understand that reality that their appreciation rates are slowing and they have to get comfortable with that if they want to sell their home. So how do you and how do we help you navigate this market? Well first of all it's all about information. You need as much information as anyone can have when they're getting ready to buy a home. You need Need someone here in the Knoxville area who is providing you with lots of market data, lots of home information, someone who's willing to come out and look at properties for you, walk through those properties, give you feedback, and be ready when the time comes. So it's easier to make a decision when you have a lot of good information available to make that decision with. Because when the time comes and you find a home that works, you're going to have to make that decision. And you're going to have to make it fairly quickly, which can be very uncomfortable for a lot of people. Now, obviously, it goes without saying, you're going to need to have your financing in place. You need to go ahead and make sure that that is completed right before your window of opportunity to buy a home opens up for you. You need to get that done with a good local lender that has a reputation in this area for getting their deals closed that listing agents are familiar with. You say, why does it matter? Money's money. It matters because it will give your offer a competitive advantage with that listing agent when it comes time to buy that home if you're in a competitive situation for the home. So good financing good local lender, lots of information. One of the things that we're doing to assist our people is, is we make sure that you're set up in really good MLS searches. Why do we do that? I do that and I do it early. I do it because, not because you're going to find a home if you're not moving to next June right now, but I want you to be able to see what's coming on the market in your price range, get an understanding of where these homes are located and what you're getting for your money so that you continually become an expert in the market that you're going to be living and buying in. Secondly, one of the things that I tell people is this. If you take a discovery visit and you haven't done so yet, when you come into Knoxville, focus on areas. Okay, if you're not ready to buy today and most people aren't on their first visit, focus on areas, traffic flows. Watch some of these other videos that we've done about how to pick a neighborhood, how to pick a subdivision and all those kinds of things because all of those things are important so that when the time comes to make that decision, you're ready. So I hear, I get the question all the time. So what's the toughest part of the real estate market today? Well, we just went over and it's our inventory situation right here in Knoxville. I showed you how listings have gone down year over year. I showed you how not just actives but also new listings hitting the market. I also we talked about in this video how that has affected buyer demand while we're having that situation and how interest rates have actually helped alleviate some of the price increases that we've seen in past years in this market and how that actually benefits you for the future. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up. We love to get those thumbs up. They're really encouraging to us and if you haven't subscribed please do so blown. Until next time, guys, I can't wait to see you around Knoxville soon.